Hey, what's up, everybody? Hope you're having a good day. So yesterday I came across the article from Polygon, which was called The Law of the Rings has a new rights owner. I was like, okay, that's pretty cool. Like, who is it, right? And at first I actually thought it was going to be someone like Amazon, which would have made sense. They're working on the rings of power now. Um, and like expanding the universe, having more lore to dig into to make like a better show. Well, it's not even out yet, but you know, it's been a lot going on about that show. And um, their gaming division on Amazon, like having the Lord of the Rings in like their library to make new games on, would have been logical. But like, it is not Amazon that owns the rights right now. It is actually Embracer Group, which was um, formerly known as um, Nordic Games and THQ, I think, THQ Nordic. Um, and they bought the rights to make films, uh, games, merchandise. Uh, theme parks based on Tolkien's The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit and I think even more so uh, there are some caveats with that they don't own like the publishing rights to the books or anything and the Silmarillion and the Unfinished Tales of Numenor and Middle-earth are still controlled by Tolkien Estate so like everything from that's off limits but they got like quite a bit though but as a gamer this got me thinking about like possible new Lord of the Rings games and um yes i know there are like two new games coming there is i think that's already out though but like the, the mobile game but i just don't regard it as like an actual game although it even is what's mobile man like yeah nah but um that's um golem love rings golem which is set to release on september 1st uh this year 2022 still and then we have the law of the rings return to moria which is i think set to release in spring 2023 both of these games look interesting and fun and like i will definitely try them out when they release but they didn't really give me uh like the vibe i had with some other games and like one of those games that i'm talking about is star wars jedi fallen order which like for me personally it was such a success though it like uh, it really gave me an amazing feeling while playing through it i felt like really immersed and it felt really well done that game with also a new character like cal Kestis, which was really well done i thought he was written really well um fit really good into like the entire lore for me personally so you know really like what they did with that um and like i can't wait for jedi survivor to release though which is probably also going to be a really awesome game and if we look a little bit over to the wizarding world i think we can expect like such an uh, amazing great game with hogwarts legacy also um set in close proximity to what we know and um also with a new character but uh, other than jedi fallen order you are the character instead of like you play somebody that they uh, set up for you which is like really cool and i am um, i think that would like work perfectly within the lord of the rings universe something like that would be perfect though but then i saw another post which was from august 15 from private division in which they said and i don't know i just missed that for some reason but they said they are developing a new game set in middle earth universe of tolkien and they are working with Weta Workshop to bring this game to life. And Weta is known from, uh, for Lord of the Rings, the trilogy, and um, oh, I think Avatar and like, such movies. So, pretty awesome, right? In the post on the Private Division website, it says that they have licensed the literary works of the series. So Weta Workshop now have a broad creative license to interpret the underlying lore, um, from, like of the books from the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit. And then a little bit after that, Amy Walken, who is head of uh, interactive at Weta said, I'm gonna quote it, so don't misquote it, but it's a privilege to create a new game set in Middle Earth, especially one that's so different from what fans have played previously. And then, one sentence after that he said as fans ourselves we're excited for games to explore middle earth in a way they have never before and introduce new fans to the magic of the lord of the rings so that sounds pretty cool right but what i'm hoping for is just like the games i mentioned before uh like a single player experience and i would love it to be more towards an open world game than like a real linear game and although uh, like jedi fallen order was pretty linear um it's still an amazing game but yeah I, like i would like a pretty open world because it just fits so well but then in a different way can also mean um 
like it can mean a lot of things right so what if we get to play as goblins in this game and like go through a quest of their own like a goblin quest would be really cool to go through is something you haven't seen before um seeing it from the other side it's like pretty cool right but i think different means a more completed detailed world to see um more fleshed out and more interactive and filled with so much lore um that it's different in that way that we have seen before with other like law of the rings games and so you like you can add it things we have never seen before um because like just the media of gaming is it is so broad and it allows for so much more to be um experienced right and just thinking about assassin's creed games um where people live their lives and like actually do stuff and you can come across them in their like adventures or perils whatever they're in and i think the law of the rings universe fits perfectly um in in that sort of game like an open world game and i would also like i would love like a new character which i can relate to someone that's maybe not even connected to like the cast of characters that we know like uh, like aragon legolas or or gimli whatsoever and then having a mission of her own would make it so much more personal and i think so much more better than going along the path of like missions and and, and quests we've already seen before and maybe throw like um the blue wizards in there like not a lot is known about them as far as i know like i'm not a tolkien expert so <laughs> but as far as i know they are i think mentioned once or twice within the Lord of the rings um but like not a lot is known about them maybe throw them in there uh flesh that out a little bit i think that will be cool um or like make us one of those wizards you know um i think that would at least give us like a real cool magical element in the world of lord of the rings and let us go into the world and 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 have an effect on it like it's a survival game where you explore and expand your character and um and and, and like expand your reach on that part of the part of the the world in lord of the rings which will be really cool or maybe even and this will probably not be like a triple a title but i think also that um a roguelike dungeon crawler like Hades would fit perfectly within um, the Lord of the Rings universe. But I don't think that will like be something they're working on right now. But yeah, there's so much possibilities for like an awesome new Lord of the Rings games or like a game set in that world. And even though they say the title is still in early development um, and has no release date yet, it is still expected to release in um, um, like the, the Take Two's fiscal year of 2024. So they will hopefully start at least showing something in the near future. And like also Embracer Group is playing with the idea of making like spin off movies from The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit. So like that, I think they were talking about like maybe something from from Gimli spin-offs and, and Legolas spin-offs and, and like whatever, you know? So um, they seem to really want to utilize this acquisition that they have right now, which is expected, right? You don't buy something like the Lord of the Rings and do jack shit with it. So yeah, you know, I don't know, like hopefully this all leads to awesome new lord of the rings content which i think would be so awesome for everybody like fans and even non-fans because um hogwarts legacy um some people are not really a fan of harry potter or the wizarding world but they do think this is going to be a really fun game to play to so like even the non-fans could find this really really awesome but just talking about gaming what are your hopes for a new game set in this lord of the rings universe uh just let me know that in the comment section down below don't forget to like the video if you like it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you like that also probably will be streaming um shadow of mordor pretty soon and um that might be on youtube or twitch or both but i will leave a link to the twitch in the description down below so if you like it don't forget to follow that Links are all in the description. As always, thanks for watching and have a good day. Bye-bye.